Settle yourself in any way you like. Ground your seat bones down toward the ground and relax your shoulders down away from you. Bring your hands to your lap with your palms to face the sky and close your eyes. Begin to simply notice your breath. Notice each breath in and out of your body. And bring your awareness as to how the air feels as it enters in through your nose. draw your attention to the air and how it feels in through your nose. Today's practice will hold that theme of air and wind. And as you go through the elements of air, set your intention to fill your lungs with fresh air and to clear your mind. When you're ready, hold your breath. So take a deep breath in through your nose and at the top of your breath, hold your breath. Now it's up to you how long you'd like to hold your breath for and choose anywhere between four and 10 seconds. So take a deep breath in. And then once you've reached how long you're holding your breath for, take another breath in. And hold for as long as you can. And then very, very slowly, when you're ready, begin to breathe out again. Once more, take a deep breath in and at the top of your breath, hold your breath. Anywhere between four and 10 seconds. And then take another breath in. Hold your breath again. And when you're ready, slowly breathe out. Silently repeat to yourself, I am balanced. And then silently repeat, I am at peace. And then when you're ready, Gently flutter your eyes open. Find your way onto a kneeling position. And you have the option to sit kneeling on your heels or to take hero's pose by taking your feet each side and seating your seat bones down onto the ground and lengthen your spine in your hero's pose. Take a breath here. Let the air fill your lungs with fresh air. And then when you're ready, inhale to lift up onto your knees, sweep your hands up toward the sky, take a deep breath in, reach high, and then exhale, lower down through your knees. Once more, inhale, sweep your hands up toward the sky, reach high, and exhale, slowly lower. Once more, inhale, reach your hands all the way up toward the sky. And this time, exhale and lower your hands down in front of you. Take your knees back underneath your hips into your tabletop position. Spread your fingers wide. Inhale, open your chest, dip your belly into cow position. 
And exhale, push away from the ground, arch your spine toward the sky into cat. And then continue to flow through cat cow, go at your own pace. Maybe take some organic movement round and round, front to back or side to side. Follow your breath as you move. Flow with the air. And then when you're ready, bring yourself back to a neutral tabletop position. Press your left hand down and reach your right hand out in front of you, reach as far as you can. And then squeeze your left leg and lift your left leg. Squeeze your leg as it's lifted, point your hip down toward the mat. Inhale. And exhale, focus your gaze in front of you. So find a focal point, this will really help your balance. And you have the option to stay here, or if you'd like to, you can take a bend in your knee and reach back towards your hand, open your chest. So your hand comes towards your foot, but it doesn't touch. You can stay here, reaching back towards your foot, or you can take a hold of your foot, press the weight of your foot against your hand, and lift your leg up behind you, open your chest. Inhale. And exhale, take a breather here, wherever you are. Let the air fill your lungs. And then gently, slowly lower your knee back down toward the mat. Reach your left hand in front of you and your right foot back. Squeeze your leg. Point your hips down toward the ground. Reach as far as you can. Focus your gaze in front of you. Again, take a few breaths here. Follow your breath, take long, deep breaths. Fill your lungs with fresh air. Now you have the option again, if you'd like to stay here, or to take a bend in your foot and reach your hand toward your foot over your chest. And you can stay here, or take a hold of your foot. And press the weight of your foot against your hand. Lift your foot up behind you. Open your chest. Focus your gaze. Follow your breath. Take long, deep breaths. In through your nose and out through your nose. And then slowly lower your knee down. Release your foot. And bring yourself back to a neutral tabletop position. Plant your right hand down and your right knee down. Plant the whole of your shin and the back of your right foot down toward the ground. And then plant your left foot out toward the side and then reach your hand to your waistline. In your modified side plank, focus your gaze here. Inhale and exhale. From here, shift your weight so your shoulder goes over your wrist, your hip on over your knee, and lift your leg, squeeze your leg as much as you can. Reach your left hand high toward the sky in your modified half moon. Inhale and exhale. You have the option to stay here, or if you'd like to, you can add a bend in your knee, take a hold of your foot, press the weight of your foot against your hand, open your chest, in your modified half moon or your modified sugar cane and then slowly lower your leg down toward the ground meet back in your tabletop position take it to the other side press your left hand down the whole of your left shin plant the back of your foot down firmly into the ground and your right foot out toward the side from your right hand to your waistline open your chest and your modified side plank Focus your gaze, find a focal point to focus on. This is your drishti, as known in Sanskrit. And then when you're ready, shift your shoulders over your wrist, your hips over your knee. Float your right leg up toward the sky, reach your leg, but squeeze as much as you can to stabilize yourself. Reach your right hand high toward the sky in your modified half moon position. 
You can stay here if you'd like, or you have the option to take a hold of your foot, press your foot against your hand and lift your foot towards the sky. Take a breather here wherever you are, and then slowly lower your foot down and your hand down. Lower your seat bones towards your heels. Allow your head to rest on the ground in your child's pose. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Fill up your lungs with oxygen. And then take a deep breath out through your nose. Keep these long, deep breaths throughout your practice today. When you're ready, gently flutter your eyes open, lift your torso, bring yourself back to your tabletop position. Tuck your toes and send your hips high to downward facing dog. Take a bend in one knee and then the other. Walk your dog today. Flow with the air around you. with the oxygen that allows you to survive and take deep breaths to clear your mind. Now when you're ready, you can take bent knees or straighten your legs in your down dog, lift your hips a little bit higher and then reach your right leg up high, squeeze your leg, inhale and as you exhale, plant your right foot down between your hands. Bring your left foot to meet your right and forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway so your torso is parallel toward the floor. Exhale, fold forward. Take a bend in your knees, sweep your hands up toward the sky. Inhale, and exhale, swan dive forward. Reach your arms beside you as you dive forward. Take a bend in your knees and your forward fold. Plant your hands down to the ground and step your right foot back into your low lunge position. Lengthen your spine. Step your left foot back to meet your right into a plank position. You can take your knees down and lie down or shift your shoulders over your wrist and then take a bend in your elbows into your chaturanga. From here, untuck your toes, open your chest. Inhale into upward facing dog. Exhale, send your hips high to downward facing dog. When you're ready, lift up onto the balls of your feet, take a bend in your knees, lift your hips high and look towards your hands at the front of your mat. Use the elasticity in your knees to either step or float to the front of your mat. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold forwards. Take a bend in your knees, sweep your hands up toward the sky. Inhale. Exhale, swan dive forward into your forward fold. Plant your hands down. Step your right foot back into your lunge position, lengthen your spine. And step your left foot back to meet your right into your plank position. Take your chaturanga, shift your shoulders over your wrists. Take a bend in your elbows. Untuck your toes, open your chest into upward facing dog. Inhale. As you exhale, tuck your toes and send your hips high to downward facing dog. Take a moment here and a few breathers here on your downward facing dog. Take deep breaths, close your eyes, maybe shake your head if you'd like to. From here, inhale, sweep your right foot up toward the side, squeeze your neck. And then take a bend in your right leg and plant your right foot between your hands. Plant your left foot horizontal on your mat and then inhale, lift your torso, windmill your arms into a T-shape into warrior two. Inhale and exhale. Take a moment here in your warrior two position and then shift your shoulders and shift your hips over towards your right leg and take your left foot down. Reach your right hand high down toward the ground and your left hand high toward the sky. And then shift your weight, squeeze your leg and lift your left leg 
lower your torso parallel toward the mat. You can stay here or you can take a hold of the floor with your fingertips or your hand. Reach your hand high in your half moon position. Inhale and exhale. Slightly take a bend in your right knee. Plant your foot down, meet back in warrior two. From here, shift your weight forward to the short touch of your mat and stand in your mountain pose. Feet hip width distance apart. Tuck your belly in and up. Squeeze your legs toward each other and apart. Relax your arms down. Take a moment to ground yourself in your mountain pose today. Focus your gaze in front of you. This is your drishti or your focal point. Whenever you have your gaze on one thing, it dramatically helps your balance. Shift your weight into your right foot. Lift onto the ball of your left foot and step your foot back. Reach your right hand in front of you. Take a bend in your left knee and take a hold of your foot. Press the weight of your foot against your hands to lift your leg right behind you. It may only be a tiny little bit, or you may like to wish to lean your torso a little bit further and lift your leg a little further. Focus on your drishti, your focal point. Inhale. And then exhale, slowly release your foot. Keep your foot lifted and lift your knee in front of you and your arms by your side, stay strong. Inhale. And exhale, slowly lower your foot down toward the ground into your mountain pose. Inhale, bring your, sweep your hands high toward the sky. Exhale, fold forwards. Plant your right foot back and take your right foot onto a horizontal so you can plant your foot for your warrior two. Inhale, sweep your arms up and over into a T-shape in your warrior two. Your heel is about in line with the bridge of your left, your right foot. Inhale and exhale, take a moment here, stabilize yourself. And then shift your weight into your left leg, tap your right foot down. Reach your left hand down toward the ground, reach your right hand high. Slowly lower your torso parallel toward the mat and float your right leg up toward the sky. Squeeze your leg, you can hover, you can take a block, you can take the floor, open your chest in your heart moon position. Follow your breath, focus your gaze on your focal point. This will really help your balance. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly take a bend in your left knee. Plant your right foot down, knee back in your warrior two position. Inhale and exhale. Plant your right foot down. Reach your arms down into your mountain pose. Squeeze your legs together and apart at the same time. Tuck your belly in and up to activate your core. This time step your left foot back behind you. Reach your left Step your right foot back behind you. Reach your left hand out in front of you. Focus your gaze, find your drishti. And then take a bend in your foot and take a hold of your foot. Press the weight of your foot against your hand. Lift your leg up into your dance pose. Open your chest. Take a moment here, follow your drishti. And then slowly, Release your foot down to the ground. Inhale, reach your hands up toward the sky. And exhale, fold forward. Take a hold of your elbows, close your eyes, and allow your head to drop in your forward fold today. Maybe shake your head yes, shake your head no. Release any tension around your neck. And allow yourself to dangle toward the floor. Take a moment here, and when you're ready, gently curl yourself up vertebrae by vertebrae, and your head is the last thing that lifts up. Hug your arms around your body with your left arm over your right. You have the option to keep your arms like this, or take the backs of your palms to touch, or even your right hand to then twist around to your left palm so your palms touch. If you do that, then lift your elbows up to your gaze and then push your forearms away from you. 
to create space. Inhale, take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, take a deep breath out. Sigh through your mouth. Once more, inhale. And exhale. From here, lift up your left leg and cross your left leg over your right. You have the option to stay here. Or take a bend in your right leg and float up your left. You have the option to stay here or take your foot around to wrap around your calf, lower your seat bones down toward the ground in your eagle pose. Inhale and exhale. From here, you can stay here or take a bow forward, fold your eagle over your body. And then when you're ready, slowly release your arms, uncross your legs, take your forward fold. Inhale, slowly roll your body up, one by one, each vertebrae. Roll your shoulders down and allow your head to be the last thing that lifts. Hide your right arm over the top of your left this time. Again, your option to stay here, take backs of palms or fronts of palms to touch. Inhale, lift your elbows up to your gaze. Exhale, push your forearms away from you. Set your right foot over your left and you can stay here. Take a bend in your left leg to float your leg or wrap your foot around your calf. Lower your seat bones in your eagle position. Inhale, take a deep breath in. And exhale, sigh out through your mouth. Once more, inhale. And exhale, sigh through your mouth. You can stay here if you'd like or you can take a bow, bow down your eagle as you fold into yourself. When you're ready, unwrap your arms, unwrap your legs. Exhale, take a forward fold. Take a bend in your knees, plant your hands down and take your knees down toward the mat. Lift your torso and tuck your toes. Bring your hands to your waistline and take them to the top of your coccyx and that bone just at the base of your spine. Inhale, lift your shoulders up and over. Squeeze your shoulder blades behind and toward each other. Squeeze your elbows toward each other behind you at your back and push your hips forwards. You have the option to stay here in this variation of camel or you can reach your hands down towards your heels. Lift your chest up toward the sky. Push your hips forwards. And you can stay here if you'd like to. Or slowly reach your hands towards your heels, press your, your heart toward the sky, push your hips open in your camel position. Your head can be absolutely anywhere in this, so just do what feels good for you. It can be dropped back, it can be lifted, whatever feels good. And then when you're ready, slowly lift yourself up and sit your seat bones onto either your heels or take your heroes pose here, lengthen your spine, take a moment here, allow your spine to reset itself once more after that deep back bend. And then sweep your hands up toward the sky, inhale and exhale, lower them down toward the ground and roll yourself over onto your back. Lift your legs up above you and turn your right knee out toward the side to take your right ankle over the top of your left knee. You can stay here, bring your arms down by your sides and close your eyes. Or you can take your hands interlaced underneath your knee and slowly draw your left knee toward your body. Take a deep breath in, close your eyes if you would like, and just notice any sensations you may feel. And send the oxygen from your lungs to that place, wherever that may be. When you're ready, swap sides, uncross your legs. Take your left knee out toward the side of your ankle onto your top of your right. 
stay here with your arms down or interlace your hands underneath your knee. Slowly and gently draw your knee back towards you. Close your eyes if you would like to. And then when you're ready, slowly uncross your legs, stretch your legs out in front of you and bring your arms down by your sides with your palms to face the sky. Allow your feet to drop each side, close your eyes in your Shavasana today. Notice your breath and draw your attention back to your breath. To the air that comes in and out of your body. Notice how precious that air is for your survival. And cherish each breath you take. Take long, slow breaths. Deeper and with more quality than maybe you normally would. And consciously lengthen your breath as long as you can. So take it as slowly as possible as you inhale. And as slowly as possible as you exhale. Silently repeat to yourself, I am balanced. And then in your head, silently repeat, I am at peace. Keep your eyes closed. Gently wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes and then hug your knees into your chest. When you're ready, slowly roll over onto your favourite side. And with your eyes closed in your own time, slowly and mindfully lift yourself up into a seated position of your choice. Lengthen your spine, bring your hands to your lap. And to close your practice today, I'll share with you a quote that says, it's a beautiful thing to have lungs that allow you to breathe air and legs that allow you to climb mountains. And it's a shame that sometimes we don't realise that that is enough. Inhale, take a deep breath in through your nose as if you're about to blow out the candles of a cake. Inhale. Exhale, sigh out through your mouth. Once more. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, sigh out through your mouth. <sighs> Bring a smile to your lips and your hands to meet at heart centre. Slowly bow your head down to your hands. Namaste. The light in me honours the light in you. And when you're ready, you can gently flutter your eyes open. I hope you enjoyed your practice today and namaste. Have a great day.